Becoming a fighter pilot is no easy task. It can cost up to 11 million bucks and requires an intense amount of time and rigorous training. The jets needed for this costly and challenging training take years of hard work and millions of dollars to design, build, and perfect. While there are plenty of training jet options, some are so reliable and efficient that they're simply irreplaceable. Mastering the skies has been the ultimate key to victory on the ground. So in the early 2000s, programs like the TX emerged with one mission, prepare pilots to dominate the skies in cutting-edge jets like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. The result? The Boeing Saab T-7 Redhawk, a sleek modern trainer built to mimic today's most advanced fighter speed, power, and precision. The Mustang may have led the way, but the Red Hawk ensures the next wave of elite pilots is ready to continue that tradition of air superiority. The Red Hawk, originally called the Boeing TX, is a subsonic advanced jet trainer that highlights a collaboration between Boeing and Saab. This American-Swedish project was chosen by the United States Air Force in September of 2018 to replace the aging Northrop T-38 Talon and its advanced jet training program. Designed with modern tech and enhanced capabilities, the Red Hawk represents the next step in pilot training for the USAF, preparing future generations of fighter pilots for sustained excellence. The USAF's search for a replacement for the supersonic Northrop T-38 Talon began as early as 2003, with plans to have the new jet trainer in service by 2020. However, after a tragic fatigue failure of the T-38C in 2008, which claimed the lives of its two-person crew, the Air Force advanced the timeline to achieve initial operating capability by 2017. Despite this urgency, shrinking budgets and competing priorities delayed the program further, pushing the IOC to fiscal year 2023 or 2024. Although the TX program was temporarily left out of the fiscal year 2014 budget, it remained a priority for the USAF. In response, Boeing partnered with Swedish aerospace firm Saab to compete for the contract. On September 13, 2016, the Boeing Saab team revealed prototypes of the Boeing TX, a single-engine advanced jet trainer featuring a twin-tail, tandem seating, and a retractable tricycle landing gear. It's powered by a German Electric F404 afterburning turbofan engine. The first flight of the TX took place on December 20th, 2016, and the Boeing Saab team submitted their bid later that month when the Air Force officially opened the T-7 program for submissions. The Red Hawk isn't just a new aircraft, it's the future of fighter pilot training for the United States Air Force. Designed to be as adaptable as it is advanced, this all-around advanced pilot training system, or APPS, is built to evolve with changing technologies, mission types, and training demands. But what sets the T-7 apart? It was originally designed, built, and tested to be cutting-edge yet low-risk. It blends live, virtual, and simulated training to create a fifth-generation aircrew system that's light years ahead of anything else the other guys have got. This system doesn't just refresh pilot training. It revolutionizes it, delivering a leap in capability that'll shape the next generation of American fighter pilots. The app system is at the heart of this transformation, complete with next-level ground-based training, the most advanced visual displays ever seen in simulators, and integrated live virtual constructive training. It's more than ready to replace the F-16 as the go-to training tool ensuring tomorrow's pilots can master the skies with the same level of precision and dominance that the Red Hawk promises. Wouldn't mind having one of those simulators in my living room. Before the T-7 Red Hawk took center stage, the T-38 Talon reigned supreme as the United States Air Force's primary jet trainer. Introduced way back in the 60s, the Talon made history as the world's first supersonic jet trainer, a feat that earned it a legendary status which it still holds today. For decades, it trained generations of fighter pilots and even served NASA in astronaut training. Despite being slated for replacement by the T-7, the Talon's legacy refuses to fade, thanks to numerous upgrades that have kept it in the game. While the Red Hawk is gearing up to take the lead, the Talon remains a steadfast workhorse in the U.S. Air Force's arsenal. Back in the 60s, this was no ordinary jet. It was the world's first supersonic trainer a 
pioneer that continues to shape fighter and bomber pilots to this day. Its twin General Electric J85 engine still push it to Mach 1.3, a speed that rivals some of today's fighters. It hasn't just trained elite Air Force pilots either. No, NASA's been using the talent for astronaut training for a while. Not to mention there's a lot of test pilots and reconnaissance crews that also earned their wings on the talent. But training the world's most formidable pilots requires more than just one approach. The US Air Force has invested in countless methods and technologies over the years to ensure that pilots can conquer any challenge. In the early 2000s, the government launched Pilot Training Next, or PTN, an ambitious initiative designed to push pilot training into the future. Harnessing the latest tech and cutting-edge methods, PTN accelerated the way pilots are trained, using not only aircraft like the T-38, but also advanced simulators capable of replicating a wide variety of jets. Boeing reached a major milestone in February with the development of a groundbreaking flight control law for the T-7A, and since then the aircraft has already taken to the skies more than 10 times, pushing the envelope with a 25 degree angle of attack. What really sets these flights apart is that three of them showcase the T-7A's precision tracking at high angles of attack, a critical skill for pilot training. With the integration of Control Law 17.5, the stage is set for the U.S. Air Force to begin high angle of attack and departure resistance training at Edwards Air Force Base. According to the Vice President of the program, the Red Hawk is ready to transform the way we train our pilots, bringing a new level of safety, performance, and adaptability. Completing these three key milestones marks serious progress in the program's evolution. Boeing is pressing forward with flight testing and will continue escape system testing through 2025. As the T-7A advances through testing and achieves more flight completions, Boeing's preparing to shift into low-rate initial production, or LRIP. A new production line is being built and by mid-year, Boeing will begin loading the first forward and aft fuselages for LRIP, with suppliers already hard at work developing the parts needed for full-scale production. As with any aircraft, the old-fashioned T-38 demands meticulous maintenance to perform at peak levels, especially since many of these jets are now between 50 and 70 years old. Despite its age, the Talon has undergone numerous upgrades, including avionics enhancements, structural improvements, and engine overhauls, with the later models being dubbed T-38Cs. A propulsion modernization program has also boosted its engine reliability and takeoff power keeping this veteran flying strong until its eventual replacement by the Red Hawk when it's ready to go. The Talon's history even includes a stint with the Air Force Thunderbirds, serving as the iconic team's aircraft from 1974 to 1982. These aerial acrobats showcase the T-38's precision and agility in front of millions, proving that even a training jet could deliver a jaw-dropping performance. The switch to the T-38 wasn't only a demonstration of skill, but also a cost-effective move during an era of fuel constraints. But beyond standard training, some pilots face specialized challenges, like the hard-pounding experience of taking off and landing on an aircraft carrier. This high-stakes skill is where the McDonnell Douglas T-45 Goshawk comes in. Developed in the late 80s, the Goshawk is the U.S. Navy's go-to trainer for preparing pilots to handle carrier-based operations. With features tailored for the Navy's demanding environments, such as catapult launches and arresting wire recoveries, the Goshawk ensures the pilots are ready for the real thing. Now just imagine the future of supersonic jets in the Red Hawk as they begin to rain the sky like real kings. Jets like the Red Hawk are going beyond just being stepping stones. They're the backbone of elite military training, ensuring pilots are prepared to tackle the challenges of modern warfare. As new technologies invented, these aircraft continue to evolve, helping pilots master the skies with skill, confidence, and precision. So which one of these legendary jets do you like the most and were the most fascinated by? Let me know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.